Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most in-demand data science skills and the different steps on how to acquire those skills, starting from zero to literally master every tool to get your dream job. And it is also important to note that at the end of each course, you will get a certificate that you can share with your network on LinkedIn. But first, let's start by listing the data science skills. All the links to these courses and certificates are available in the description. And for the skills, as you can see, the first one is mathematics, statistics, and probabilities, as it is required for both your analysis and also for machine learning algorithms. Next, we have Excel and data analysis for handling files and analyzing small data sets. We have SQL and databases for relational databases. And we have also data visualization, Tools such as Tableau and Power BI and also Library R and Python will help you to create reports and also to make great presentations in order to present your results. We have also programming and Python and R are the most in-demand programming languages for data science. Next, we have also machine learning and advanced machine learning such as deep learning, computer vision, natural language processing, and time series. So here we are going to learn about the different packages, different libraries, and also the algorithms used. We have also soft business and communication skills, which will depend on the company and also on the projects within the company. And finally, we have the cloud as AWS is one of the most used ones, since it offers solutions to many challenges such as storage and security. For our first step, Coursera offers two courses provided by Duke University where you will learn the different functions and theorems that are needed for your data analysis process. And as we have mentioned, after completing these courses, you are going to get a certificate that you can share with your network on LinkedIn. Techniques such as derivatives, Bayes theorem, and hypothesis testing will be provided in these courses. The first course is Data Science Math Skills where you will learn many techniques and here I mentioned two points such as derivatives so derivatives for example they are used for optimization techniques like gradient descent and also probability theory like Bayes theorem which is used for knife base algorithm the second course is inferential statistics same thing you are going to learn many techniques and one of those techniques is to extract information from sample of the data and to apply these characteristics to the generalization or to the overall population. And the second point is that you are going to learn statistical hypothesis testing. Next, we have a professional certificate containing nine course series provided by IBM. In these courses, you are going to learn different techniques. And among these techniques, we have data analysis with both Python and Excel, data visualization with both Python and Excel, Databases and SQL. As we have said, SQL is a must for relational databases. And also, we are going to work on projects. So, we have end to end data science projects. Next, we have Python for Everybody specialization. This specialization offers everything you need to know about Python. We are going to learn to work with Python on end to end data science projects from collecting to analyzing and visualizing data. So as we can see here, we have put the different steps starting from basics of the Python programming language. So we have Python data structures such as lists, dictionaries, and sets. We are going to learn how to use Python to access web data. We are going to learn how to use databases directly with Python. And as we have said, we are going to learn how to retrieve, process, and visualize data with Python. So as we can see, Specialization offers everything that you need to learn about Python. Next, we have Data Science Specialization by Johns Hopkins University. This specialization is more for the ones who want to go deeper in R programming because you are going to learn everything you need about R programming in your data science journey. You are going to learn how to use R to clean, analyze, and visualize data. Navigate the entire data science pipeline from data acquisition to publication. We're going to learn how to use GitHub to manage data science projects. And finally, we're going to use and learn the different R programming packages for machine learning, which means you are going to learn both supervised and unsupervised machine learning.
Whereas for the IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, it will focus more on Python programming, where you are going to first start learning what is data science, tools and languages used for data science, data science methodology, we are going to work on end-to-end -end data science and machine learning projects. We are going to learn a lot of Python packages such as NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Scikit-learn. We are going to learn different machine learning algorithms for both supervised and unsupervised machine learning. And finally, we are going to apply your new skills to real-world projects. So if you want to learn data science with Python, then the certificate will boost your skills. With the courses covered so far, we covered the required and most intimate skills to become a data analyst, data scientist, and business analyst. So we have started with mathematics, statistics, and probability, data analysis with both Python and Excel, data visualization with both Python and Excel and also R. So as we have said, with data science specialization provided by Johns Hopkins University, and with IBM Data Science Professional Certificate, we have learned what is data science, tools for data science, data science methodology and also we have learned how to use excel for both data analysis and data visualization and also for file handling so we have databases and sql so as we have said relational databases are one of the most used databases then we have github to manage data science projects python programming r programming and machine learning so for the next section we are going to cover kind of advanced and more focused courses which are based on machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, computer vision. We are going to also talk about the cloud as the data is exponentially rising. The cloud will solve so many challenges and so many problems for the companies. So next we have machine learning specialization by Stanford University and deeplearning.ai. Actually in the specialization I are going to understand everything regarding machine learning algorithms. We are going to learn libraries such as NumPy and Scikit-learn. We are going to learn both supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms for prediction and binary classification. We are going to build and train neural networks with TensorFlow. So we are going to learn TensorFlow, which is one of the most intimate deep learning libraries. We are going to also learn unsupervised machine learning and use techniques such as clustering and anomaly detection. And finally, I'm going to learn about reinforcement machine learning for commander systems. So as we can see, the specialization covers everything regarding machine learning for supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning. For the next step, we have deep learning specialization by deeplearning.ai. As you can see, we have four different courses. And in the specialization, you will find everything you need to know about neural networks. We are going to start by learning neural networks and building neural networks from scratch. We are going to work and learn optimization techniques to get a more efficient algorithm and better results. We are going to work on images, so to create CNNs or convolutional neural networks. And also on text data, we are going to build RNNs, which stands for recurrent neural networks. We are going to work with natural language processing and use hugging face tokenizers and transformer models to perform NER and question answering. Now for the next step, so far we have covered so many machine learning certificates and courses, and we have the theoretical machine learning knowledge for supervised machine learning, and supervised machine learning, deep learning, reinforcement learning, etc. Now, once you are in the company, you need production ready skill set. Here, we are machine learning engineering for production, so Amalop specialization comes to help you and give you every single skill that you need. For example, managing ML production systems, data pipelines, model pipelines, deployment pipelines, etc. So in this specialization, you are going to find all the skills that you need in order to apply all your theoretical machine learning knowledge within your company. For the next step, we have deeplearning.ai TensorFlow Developer Professional Certificate, where I'm going to cover everything that we have learned in deeplearning.ai specialization using TensorFlow. So I'm going to build convolutional neural networks in TensorFlow, natural language processing in TensorFlow, and here we have also another course which covers time series, sequences, and prediction. Now, if you want to fully specialize in TensorFlow, then you may consider these two certificates. The first one is TensorFlow Advanced Techniques Specialization. 
and the second one is TensorFlow Terra and Deployment Specialization. So the first one will help you to expand your skill set and master TensorFlow. And same thing if you want to go deeper in natural language processing, then natural language processing specialization offered by deeplearning.ai offers four courses which will teach you every single technique that you will need in your NLP expert journey. For example, you are going to learn how to use logistic regression, knife base, and word vectors to implement sentiment analysis, complete analogies, and translate words. We are going to use recurrent neural networks, LSTMs, use dynamic programming, use encoder, decoder, cordial, and self-attention to machine translate complete sentences, summarize text, build chatbots, and question answering. Next, we have the cloud. So as the amount of data is exponentially increasing, New storage, secured, and fast tools are needed to help companies get the required results. Here, the cloud comes as the best solution. With AWS Fundamental Specialization, you will find the knowledge that will let you understand and work with the cloud. And the question we ask is, why should I learn AWS? First of all, it is easy to use. Second, we have scalability, flexibility, it is cost effective, as you will see with the different tools available within AWS. So you are going to only pay for what you use. Same thing for the security. It is very secured as you can use encryption, for example, for your data. And also we have high performance. So it is highly suited for machine learning, deep learning, and working with huge data sets. So in the specialization, you are going to learn many tools and the most used tools within AWS, such as IAM, we have EC2, AWS Lambda, ECS, RDS, Amazon S3. We are going to also learn migrating to the AWS Cloud, architecting solutions on AWS, and so many other techniques that you will need in order to understand the AWS. Now for our final step, we have practical data science on the AWS Cloud Specialization. So after acquiring all the data science skills, plus learning, understanding, and using the IWS, then this specialization will let you understand in deep data science and IWS, and also how to use AutoML. So that's it for this video. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.